Introducing the tie lock systems. The tie lock systems consist of a tie and an installation tool. Let's start off with the tie. The tie and the mini tie lock offer a patented strong dimple lock, low profile, smooth ID, and superior corrosion resistance being constructed of a 304 stainless steel. These family of ties can be installed with either a hand tool or a pneumatic tool. The buckle is part of the tie, making the installation easier and swift. Bandit offers the tie lock ties in two different widths, quarter inch and three eighths. Range of sizes are 7.2 inches long, up to 35 inches in length. The mini tie lock ties are offered in a 0.177 inches in width. Range of sizes is seven inches to 29 inches in length. Next are the tie lock and mini tie lock installation tools. We're gonna to begin with the A92079. This tension control design tool is capable of tensioning and cutting off quarter inch width clamps, able to achieve 250 pounds of loop tensile strength per clamp installation. Moving on to the A91079 mini tie lock tensioning tool. This tension control design tool is capable of tensioning, cutting off, and locking 0.177 inches in width band, up to 100 pounds of loop tensile force per installation. Last is the TL3800. Designed especially for 3 8 width ties, incorporates a unique tensioning mechanism, assuring accurate and repeatable tensioning in a dimple lock design, assuring the same dimple lock depth for maximum control. At the bottom of the tool, you'll find the cutoff lever. This tool is designed to install 350 pounds of loop tensile strength per tie. We covered the ties, we covered the tools, now let's move to the installation. What we want to do first is adjust the tool to the desired amount of tension that we would like to achieve. The settings range from zero to eight. Zero being the zero tension cutoff, eight being the maximum amount of tension that this tool can achieve. And so we're gonna leave this at four. Next, we're gonna take our tie. We're gonna run our tie around the application and take this clamp tail and run it through the buckle bridge. And we're gonna pull it till it's nice and snug against our application. Now we're ready to insert the tool. In order to insert the tool, you take the tension handle and slightly push forward. When you push this forward, this allows the gripper to open up and allow the clamp tail to slide right on in. We're gonna push this all the way till the clips are pretty much holding the buckle. Now all we need to do is squeeze the handle. Since we preset the tension, it will automatically cut off once it achieves the correct amount of tension. So let's squeeze it. Now the tool locked, we're gonna give it one last little squeeze. What we have is a deep punch and a dual lock on the outside. So what we want to do with the TL380 is this tension. And what it does is a winding mandrel. And once you get to the correct amount of tension achieved, you'll feel it no longer tension any longer. You're going to take your hammer, you want to hit it with a punch. Your cutoff lever should be face downwards with a push downward. You finish your clamp off. What we have is a deep punch and a dual lock on the outside. In order to remove the clamp tail, all you would need to do is remove the winding mandrel and pull the remainder of the clamp. 